Welcome and welcome back. Marika, Chris, so good to see you. I think we are all tired. <laughs> we had a hard week going through all those wonderful entries and really thumbs up and, and congratulations to everyone that participated. The level was so high. You really gave us a hard time. And yeah, we came up with our finalists. We had a short list then, you know, we had 50 entries. We had a short list of 10, which we needed to bring down to three. And, and, and we nearly couldn't make it. We really nearly couldn't make it. So we have a, a, a short list, I think, with five. Um, I think we agreed on this. We will have five, let's call them winners, even if everyone who participated is a winner in, in, in its very own way. So we have two honorable mentions that we would like to start with and we will play the entries of which one and there is no um, ranking between those two you know one is Steve Gibbs and here is his entry <laughs> And the other one is Kate Jones, which already surprised even in the last competition. Here is his entry. And yeah, now here, there are the three winners of our competition, the three that really it stood out for one or the other tiny details. It was really hard. And as we said in the last video, we wanted to be sure that no AI content was involved. So we asked proof to those three finalists. So we have a screenshot of their project and we asked to each of them, a stem of one specific track just to be very sure you know that they really composed this piece and they really could send us you know all the voice or the flutes or the strings or the percussion or whatsoever so we are very happy even to say wow the three that we have been choosing didn't use any ai and here is place number three who wins one of those t-shirts, loops are bad, or one of those caps, loops are bad, up to his choice. It's Thomas Kasi. And we will play now the stem that we've been choosing from him. We will show 
the um, screenshot of his project and then we will show his entry. Now I would like to say why Thomas deserved being in the top three to my ears. The whole track, in my opinion, was really very trailerish. The three the frequencies they have all been there, and the mixing and the mastering, and even the panning. I loved it that you could hear things on the right, on the left, in the middle, and 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 stuff like this. I really liked those soft string textures at the beginning because later on the whole thing really got big. I like the fact with the melodies, which he started out in the voice and then took over the same melody on the flute, played around with that tiny little theme, but he really knew how to play with it. The chord progression was magnificent to me and the mood change because he remained in a certain way within the whole theme that he started with which wasn't too happy at the beginning it was already a little tense but it got way more intensive towards the end and the percussion came in and all that stuff then there was silence and then the track was over this is what i really really liked about his entry marika it's your turn now to present the second winner. Um, our second winner is uh, Oliver Matla, and I was really surprised by his submission because I really love the uh, soft like orchestration in the beginning. And then it really gets into the mood and tells a story and it's even evolved further in super darkness. And I think it was very well done and super high quality. Uh, production wise and instrumental use wise and I was really surprised and uh, impressed by it and even um, it, it can be some yeah really deep emotions to me I got very emotional about the piece and I think that's why we choose it to be the second winner agree absolutely agree so we will listen now to the stem that we asked him for and then we will play the whole track
Yeah, Chris, now you have the honor to present the winner who will get a copy of Lumina, which is in Phobia 3 by Project Sam again. Thanks to my friends over at Project Sam for sponsoring this event, for handing out a copy of Lumina. Chris, who is the winner? You, th th thanks. No, you've given me an easy job because we, we all really love this entry. Yes. And, uh, you know, each of us voted across, uh, you know, a field of 50 um, entries and uh, we had differing opinions, you know, I mean, I have one perspective on what, you know, the way to handle something like this is other people might look at it differently. Um, the top three, four, five, honestly, the top five, anyone could have won really. And yet uh, Thomas Booker price is our winner at the top. And what, what, to what Thomas uh, did that I admired so much was, um, create character in the music. And, you know, for me, telling a story is about getting um, the sort of the pieces on the board and letting them interact in this beautiful motif that appears right away at the top, um, wends its way through the entire uh, composition. We have big dynamic ranges, gorgeous orchestrations, orchestral colors used just so beautifully. Some really kind of extreme examples of orchestration, things that take, it seems to me, a lot of experience and, and knowledge to be able to implement well. And on top of that, it just sounded very, very beautiful. It's wonderfully produced. Like, I'd like to know everything about what uh, instruments he used, what libraries he was using. Uh, this is, at their best, these, uh, entries made me curious to know what was your process. I wanted to ask everybody, how did you do that? You know, and especially with Thomas, I really was, I, I really, I thought to myself, how did you do that? I mean, I can hear the notes, but like, oh, that's so beautiful. And to that end, of course, we have the stems and then we have the, the full example. Notice how it, it gets beautifully dark not just in the orchestration, but uh, in the weight of the orchestration and how the melody shifts into the, the minors, but with a hint of brightness. Yeah, and, we, and in this case, we have been even more strict. So we asked two stems. We yeah. asked the flutes and the strings. So even now we will listen to except of the flutes and of the strings, have a look at the um, screenshot of the project and then we will listen to this entry, which won our competition. Thomas, congratulations, really a, an amazing track. And, and, you know, just for the voting, you know, each of us had the very same Excel sheet with the overall production, the storytelling, the mood change. There have been five or six 
thinks that every one of us was voting secretly and then we just you know combined them and then out of this we 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 made this it was a lot of work it was a lot of work but <laughs> i think i can talk for all of us we really enjoyed it and this won't be the last competition there, there will be more in the future um for sure because it's always fun even to listen to all those entries and get the community together and all this. And we thought even about another thing. So we might make within the next seven to 10 days, another video where we will pick some of the non-winning entries. And if you are not agreeing with this, if you say, please don't talk about my entry, let us know in the comments because otherwise we just randomly pick some of the entries just to show you why maybe your entry was really good, but this detail or that detail or the mix of two details or whatsoever prevented you from getting into the top 10 because you just oversaw some of those tiny little many details that, that we need to, to look out for. And I think that's it from our side. Or did I forget something? No, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think so. It's it's been a pleasure for me to be on the the panel, and and I want to emphasize again this our our judgment of these pieces is is really subjective. Like, I I personally am am not likely to choose a piece of music which just has a steady tempo throughout or steady repeated figure underneath um, a video like the one that Marika has given us, but. I know for a fact producers I've worked with want that sometimes. They want to glue things together. And there are numerous examples of um, times when, you know, I, the producers will ask for something that just my judgment, in my judgment, just doesn't make sense, but we try to do it. When we're writing the picture, we're always, we've got two clients, you know, one of them is, ourself in a way we're our first listener but there's always the actual producer i mean honestly marika's um a good composition to picture starts with good picture and marika's picture was so great i i almost feel like her judgment in we you know for second place thomas's thomas's piece right is that was, um oliver Oliver, Oliver's piece. Uh, in some ways, I feel like like you should have the final say about this. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And he did a wonderful job that way. And there were other people who did other kinds of amazing jobs. I hope that uh, we can look at some other examples and maybe pick them apart. Maybe we should uh, pick a few th uh, and, and then go to reach out to those composers and say, can we use it? You know, I mean, might not be a bad idea to ask first. Even if I think they all will be watching this video. Yeah. So if I you think want they might. to pick yours, <laughs> leave a comment underneath <laughs> this video. Otherwise, you might be picked. Yes. <laughs> that, that, or, or they could put their hand up and say, I offer myself as tribute. You know? Or even like this. I mean, you can. Yeah, even, why you not? Know, if you would say, please, please choose mine. Yeah. Um, then yeah, leave everything in the comments. You know, we are answering to the comments. And and yep. Chris, again, thank you really for being independent. It was a huge honor for I, us. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it really for today. Um, see you in the next video or on the next live stream. Make good music always. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye.